Bridging the Gap, A Young People's Guide to Living in Japan. Brought to you by Kakehashi, in partnership with the Sasakawa Peace Foundation and the Commission on Filipinos Overseas. When you travel or move to a foreign country, your personal and travel documents must all be in order. You need to carefully study the conditions of your stay, the required immigration procedures, and the obligations you may have. Here are the important laws or regulations that apply to foreigners staying in Japan. Upon entering Japan, whether for a short-term visit, a long-term work or study program, or even to take a permanent residence, foreign nationals must undergo proper immigration procedures and satisfy the conditions for landing indicated in the Immigration Control and Refugee Recognition Act. A valid passport issued by the Department of Foreign Affairs in the Philippines must be presented together with a visa issued by a Japanese consular officer in the Philippines. Entering Japan without a valid passport and visa or using a fake or tampered one is strictly prohibited and considered a violation of the Immigration Control and Refugee Recognition Act. A certificate of eligibility is issued by the Minister of Justice of Japan after examining whether or not the conditions for landing related to the status of residence being applied for have been met. Upon arrival in Japan, if the conditions have been met, the immigration officer will take a photo of you and collect your fingerprint and a seal of verification for landing will then be stamped on your passport. All rules, regulations, and laws in Japan apply to all foreigners and young people coming to the country, whether for a short-term visit or long-term stay. And violations of the Act on the Control of Immigration and Refugee Recognition may be punishable by imprisonment for up to three years or by a fine of up to three million yen or by deportation. Here are the qualifications required in applying for permanent residence in Japan. First, be a person of good conduct with no criminal record. Second, have a stable job. Third, you must have stayed in Japan for more than 10 years consecutively and must have had work permit or status of residence for more than 5 years. Fourth, you must have proof of tax payment and contributions for pension and health insurance. And fifth, be in accord with the interests of Japan and you must not be considered a threat or burden to society. Bridging the Cap, A Young People's Guide to Living in Japan.